This is Juniper. Our little Junebug. She was born on February 12, 2014, healthy and normal, or so we thought. At two weeks old, we took Juniper to her first doctor's appointment. Her heart looked a little big, and our doctor wanted us to see a cardiologist right away. At the cardiologist, Juniper had her first echocardiogram, her first of many. The doctor then told us that our baby had dilated cardiomyopathy, a condition in which the heart's left ventricle is enlarged, decreasing the heart's ability to pump blood throughout the body. In other words, our baby's heart was failing. Four days later, we were transferred to Children's Hospital Colorado and immediately rushed to the cardiac intensive care unit. There, they hooked Juniper up to tons of machines. That's when we understood that we were going to have to make some tough decisions in order for our baby to survive. After much deliberation, we decided to put Juniper on a left ventricular assist device, otherwise known as a Berlin heart. Simply, this machine helps Juniper's heart pump blood. But it was a temporary solution, a bridge to transplant. We knew she needed a new heart, and it needed to happen quickly. So we waited. Over the next six months, we waited by our daughter's bedside, hoping for a heart every day. Our nurses and our doctors waited with us, keeping us strong and optimistic every day. Then, on September 16th, we found out she was getting a new heart. In the waiting room during the procedure, it all felt so surreal. We had been waiting for this moment for months, but now that it was here, we didn't actually know what to expect. We wondered how long it would take for Juniper's body to adjust to the new heart. We wondered what it would be like to finally take her home. We wondered how long it would be before she'd be a normal kid again. We wondered if our baby would even make it through this transplant. Only eight days after Juniper's transplant, the team at Children's Colorado sent us home. Nearly seven months after our first doctor's visit, we could be a normal family again. Finally, it felt real. Up to this point, all Juniper really knew was being in the hospital, and all we really knew about being parents was being there with her. But now, she'd finally be home. It's been over a year since Juniper's transplant, and I won't tell you that it's been easy. Juniper is still not eating, and we have to give her her nourishment through a feeding tube. She's still not talking too much, and she has to work with a speech therapist every week. We have to give Juniper heavy doses of medication every 12 hours on the hour so that her body does not reject her new heart. But we have our Juniper, our little June bug, with us today because of her transplant, because somebody said yes to organ donation. Juniper runs around our house laughing, playing, and making a mess like any other toddler. She loves dogs and can barely contain her excitement when she sees them. Over the past year, she's traveled to see family and friends around the country. She's finally getting to have a somewhat normal childhood, and we are getting to picture a future with Juniper, hopeful for what the coming years bring us. For that, we are forever grateful.